Today we're going to learn about patterns. A pattern is a set of numbers in a specific order or that repeats in a certain way. Patterns are also referred to as sequences. There are three types of patterns we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about arithmetic patterns, we're going to talk about geometric patterns, and we're going to talk about special patterns. So let's start with arithmetic patterns. An arithmetic pattern is a sequence so sequence just means pattern, in which the difference between any two consecutive terms is the same. In other words, when you look between any two numbers, you can add or subtract the same number to figure out the pattern. So let's look at an example. In this first example, the sequence or pattern begins 1, 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, etc. So we're going to figure out what happens between each of these numbers. So see if you can figure out what happens between 1 and 4, 4 and 7, 7 and 10, 10 and 13, 13 and 16, etc. If you've decided that you would add 3 between each of those, then you are correct. Sometimes that's referred to as adding 3 between each number or subtracting 3 from 4 to get 1, subtracting 3 from 7 to get 4. It depends on the wording. But basically, we're adding 3 between each of these numbers. So that's an arithmetic pattern where you add the same thing between each number or subtract the same thing between each number. Now let's look at our second example. Here we have 8, 6, 4, 2, 0, negative 2, and negative 4. Take a minute and think about what's happening between each of these numbers. If you said that you are always subtracting by 2, then you are correct, or adding plus negative 2. You can think about it either way. But it's the same number over and over again that's either being added or subtracted that gives you an arithmetic pattern. And we'll see patterns in uh, real world examples oftentimes, but today I just want us to get the idea of what the different patterns are and to try to figure out what comes next in a pattern or sequence. So geometric patterns are formed when each number in the sequence is multiplied by the same number. So we have an example here and that has the sequence 3, 9, 27, 81, and 243. It goes on forever. So see if you can figure out what's happening between 3 and 9. This is also happening between 9 and 27. This is also happening between 27 and 81, etc. If you'd said that you're multiplying by 3 each time, then you are correct. And that's what a Geometric, geometric pattern looks like. We're multiplying by the same number each time. Next we have special patterns. And these are just some uh, interesting patterns that can happen. Let's look at this pattern and see if you can figure out what's happening. So here's our first number. What number is that? If you said 1, you're correct. So if that's the number 1, what's this number? 4. And then what's this number? 9. And a fast way to find that would be what? Multiply 1, 2, 3 times 1, 2, 3, which gives you 9. So then what's this next pattern if we have 4 across and 4 down? If you said 16, you're correct. And the next one we have, you guessed it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 across, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 down. So how many dots are in there? So our pattern, our sequence is 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, and this can go on forever. So what are we doing in this pattern? Well, this is 1 squared to give you 1. That's probably the hardest number to figure out in this pattern. So what do you think you would do to get 4? We take 
the side of 2 times the side of 2, so that's 2 squared. And what about to get 9? Take the side of 3 times the side of 3, so 9 is 3 squared. I bet you have this now. So for 16, across is what? And down is what? So that's 4 squared, 4 times 4. And then we have 5 times 5, or 5 squared. So there's a special uh, word for this. See if you can figure out what these might be called. You may or may not know this, but they're referred to as either square numbers or perfect squares. 1, 4, 9, 16, and 25 are all called perfect squares. So what would be our next number then? 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared, 4 squared, 5 squared, so next is what? 6 squared is correct, which is equal to what? 6 times 6 is 36. And that's how our pattern proceeds. Now let's look at another pattern. So after looking at square numbers, we have this, these pattern, this pattern. So again, what do you think that is? If you said 1, you're correct. And then what about this one? 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So these are the numbers we know so far, 1, 3, 6, 10, and 15. So see if you can figure out what is happening in this sequence. First of all, notice that each of these forms a triangle. So what do you think these numbers might be called if the last ones were called square numbers? I bet you got it. Triangular numbers. And so what do you think the next number would be in this sequence? Well, if you'll notice, each of these dots across the top is increasing by 1. So we started with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 across the top, and the same for going down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here we had 5 across, so I would assume that would make 6 across. And we had 5 down, so that's going to give us 6 down, including this top one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five, six, and now we're just going to fill in each of these columns so that it has one less than the than the following column. So here in our fifteen, this next to last column has four. So here we're going to have five, and then this one's going to have four. This one's going to have three, and we should end up with one as our first dot, which we do. So now we can count these up. We have, as we know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 across. And then, of course, we had 6 down, but we're not going to recount that one. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So our next number in our sequence is going to be 21. Just looking at the numbers without looking at the picture, can you think of any way that you would come up with the next number of 21. Well, if you look at 1 and 3, you'll notice that we have an increase of 2. And then between 3 and 6, we have an increase of 3. So what do you think we have an increase of between 6 and 10? If you said 4, you're correct. So, of course, we're going to have an increase of 5 between 10 and 15, and then an increase of 6 between 15 and 21. So what do you think our next number would be? If you think we're going to increase by 7, you're correct, and 21 plus 7 is 28. The last pattern is referred to as a geometric, geometric pattern because it's just pictures, and so sometimes you'll see geometric patterns as just pictures themselves. So let's look at this uh, visual geometric pattern and see if you can figure out what comes next. We have a heart, two stars, a heart, two stars, a heart, two stars, a heart. So what would our next picture be?
If you said A star, then you are correct. That is the end of this video.